let's get it started, guys. Grab a stick, a band, a towel, toss it to the side. We'll use it for our stretch down. Lunge with an overhead reach. Ready, begin. I like to bend it out to the side. I'm gonna pull it back into extension. Welcome to Recovery Wednesday. This is gonna be a pretty chill workout. Well, except for one part. So, there you have it. Enjoy it. Did you do the last knee rehab one? No. Oh. You're in for a treat. All right, Frogger, coming up next. In two, one, down in your frog. Oh, frog into monkey, double hip opener. This is gonna be good. Monkey in around a two, one, go. Okay, some good old fashioned cat cows. We loosen up the spine. Two, one. Inhale as you lift your gaze and chest up. Exhale and round. Lifting your belly button up. And continue. Inhale. And exhale. And continue at your own pace. Sorry, my breathing was loud. The microphone. Spider dogs. Two, one, begin. As I was doing those cat cows. Yeah, I was in one of those positions in the, the little fluff ball. It's in my nose. Mm, as I'm exhaling. Spider dogs we've ever done.
Okay, arm hollers up next in five seconds. Two, one, arm haul it out. Keeping your chest up, your thighs up. You're using that lower back. Okay, dive bombers up next. In two, one, let's go. Push up, step through. Let's go arms straight up first, hips up, and then bend it open. Same on the other side with the push up in between. Alright, wide squat with a arm reach. Go wide. Fair stance into the squat. We're gonna reach over one side and then over on the other side. Feeling these hips open up as we also lengthen through the side body. Que ese sentimiento no se compara a nada. Ay, cómo extraño tus besos. Y me arrepiento que mentí. Ya no hay nada. Es que tú me encantas. Y ya se mira. Okay, Jefferson curls. I'm just gonna curl down one vertebrae at a time to the bottom and we'll reverse it for the way up. Start with the chin. Look at you in your chest. And you roll vertebrae by vertebrae. You're trying to feel it down your spine. You hang low. And you start at the lower back and you curl your way up. Reversing the motion. Okay, keep going. I feel it vertebrae by vertebrae. Ooh, 
Hey, dancer, side reach. Two, one, two, reach over the side. Three and back, and same on the other side. <sighs> Moving at your own pace. Reaching as far and dipping over as low as you feel comfortable. Okay, got some yoga poses coming up next. We go left foot forward. Follow my lead on this one. Left leg steps forward. My foot turned out slightly. Arms out. We're gonna lean forward and rotate to extended side angle. And then we'll keep this knee bent until we reach back in the reverse warrior. And forward, rotate. Move at your own pace here. We're just traveling between those two positions. Left quad should get a light burn going. Kind of get those hips low. Okay, right leg's gonna step forward, we're gonna do the same on the other side. Go. Go this way, Al. Reach forward, rotate. Rotate that. We're adding challenge. Gotta get this front thigh horizontal. Keep it there the entire time. Okay, next one we'll go left leg for it again. Here we go, I'll go this way. We're gonna sink down into warrior one lunge. And then we'll come on up, we'll straighten out both legs. Drop your right hand down to the inside of your left foot and rotate open. And then we'll return to warrior one. We're just gonna move back and forth between these two positions. All with the left leg forward. Oh yeah. Feeling that creep up into the left hamstring, glute connection. Right leg forward. Warrior one. Straighten out both legs. Left hand drops the inside of your right foot and rotate over. Yeah. 
lo que el amor you. es usted. Okay. Now we're gonna kneel to sit. Start in the kneeling position. And then you sit back your heels. Come on up. If you're good with that. You start to lean back on your hands. A little further. If you're not cool with that, you can reach your hands in front of you. You sit back like so. Warming up the knees, also stretching the ankles a little bit. Use your hands for support if you need it. All right, we're gonna do some Seiza squats now. Let's actually start in the squat position. You're gonna push your knees forward. Use your hands for support. Try to control it. Squeeze your glutes. Flatten out your toes. Sit back onto them, just like we did. Squeeze your glutes. Tuck your toes under. Control it back into the squat. And repeat. Take it really easy on your knees if you're feeling any pain here. Even revert to the last exercise we just did. Going for control. How slow can you make these transitions? All right, so now we'll do the half kneeling. Knee drive. So left foot steps forward, right knee down on the ground. We're gonna push our knee in the direction of that middle toe. And then we'll lean back off of it. Kind of pulse into it. I like to start by trying to keep that heel down as best you can. Getting that Achilles stretch. Now, as we continue to rep these out, you can allow your weight to rock up in your toes with that heel to lift. I feel the stretch in the ankle and the Achilles. As the hamstring covers the calf. Take it easy if this is bugging your knee. Stay right there, do what you can. Try to keep that heel down. Give it a little stretch. And we're gonna do the same side. You can continue doing what we just did or you can pick up the back knee off the floor. Push knee forward. Keep that knee, that back knee hovering off the floor. Kind of pulsing into this position. Same thing here, if you wanna start with the heel down, can, and as you start to feel more comfortable, but pushing or allowing your heel to pick up off the floor. Pulse into it, you can slide back, forward into it. Take care of yourself here. These can be pretty intense. Squeezing your right glute the entire time. Ooh. Oh man, that was, that was pretty intense. The feet as well. All right, we'll switch sides. Left knee down, right foot forward. Pulse into this position. I like to start by trying to keep the heel down. The knee driving for that middle toe. That feels pretty good. You can start to rock up onto the toes, allowing that heel to come up. Fly back out of it. Push back in.
All right, now you can continue doing what we just did, or we'll pick up the back knee again to our AGT split squat. And begin. Huh? <laughs> AGT or ATG? Ooh, this knee used to make noise, not no more. Loosening up. Play around with it. You can even drive back into a standing position. Okay. Oh, guys, we're about to head into our workout. Shake out the legs. Let me explain what it is. 10 minutes long. It's a challenge. I don't even know if this is possible, but we're going to go for it. It'll be 10 minutes or less. Here's the workout. Double lunge squat. So it looks like this. Lunge, lunge, squat is one rep. And then one Navy SEAL. Navy SEAL looks like this. Push up, knee drive, push up, knee drive, push up. You can stand, there's one rep. Do one rep of each, two of each, three of each, four, five, six, all the way up to 10 reps of each, and then you're done. You have 10 minutes to complete the work. Good luck, take it at your own pace. And if you don't finish, I'll just cap you right there at 10 minutes. All right, we're getting started in five. Woo. And three, two, one, begin. <laughs> oh, <shoot. laughs> one and then one Navy SEAL. Two of each. Nope, no need to clap on top of the Navy SEAL. Navy SEALs don't clap. I just do. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nice. That's our full minute. Upgrade complete. <laughs> I made it. I made it. That was gnarly. Okay, guys, find your stick. Find your band. Oh, okay. Let's stretch out the shoulders. Some shoulder pass-throughs. Oh. Oh. brutal. Okay, let's do some around the world. And we'll reverse the direction. All right, we're gonna mix things up a little bit. Rather doing this stretch, we do kind of the opposite, where you grab, and we're gonna try and pull the arm up, like Elle's doing here. Let's see how we do this. Like that. It might take a little while to figure out how to do it, but I'm trying to pull the arm up the back this time. And let's switch sides. Mixing things up a little bit. <sighs> oh, toss your equipment to the side. Ooh, that stretch killed me. We'll go down to the squat. We'll do low squat arm rotations. Ooh. All right, our extended stretch down, guys. And three minute Shavasana coming up. Get to relax now. Stand it up. Ooh, did I send the hips out and around? Old man surfers. And let's go the other direction. Let's finish with some boomerangs where you go swipe, swipe, and send it back. Swipe, swipe. Okay, now let's step our left leg forward, right leg back, into our Spider-Man lunge. We've got some extended time here today. Drop it down to your forearms. Oh, 
Estamos solitos, ellos son más de las doce Pegándote bien lento, baby, para que tú goces No somos algo serio, pero bien si me conoces Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, tú eres el antojo de mi vida Que tanto que te pienso And when you're ready, we'll get into our split position Extended time here in the splits I like to roll from side to side, loosening things up and we'll oh, switch it out to the other side right leg steps forward Woo. that's a good amount of time in the lunge from the splits and drop it down to your forearms when you're ready. And when you want, step into that split position. You got about 30 seconds left. Both legs back, shake them out, and then left knee comes forward, spin the foot, and sit up tall, an emperor pigeon. Lay it down into sleeping pigeon and fully relax, guys. About 40 more seconds. Shake out the left leg. We're bringing the right knee forward, spinning it, and sitting up tall. And for a pitch. Ahead and lay it down. Fully relax here. Sleeping pigeon. Bring both legs around to the front. We'll reach forward. We'll try to grab onto our toes. We just lean forward. 
and rock from side to side. Todo su resplandor, lo que muestras es solo amor, es tan fuerte que solo vos, que abren el And take the left leg, tuck it back under you, lean back into the squat stretch. We'll switch out the legs, same thing on the right side. And release the leg and we'll sit up. Go wide with the legs. In our pancake position. Rise and go. Your right hand's gonna reach up and over the top. Just drop your left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Then reach over and grab the foot. Also keep that, that right shoulder open. Give a clear line of sight. Right up in the sky as best you can. Come up. And over the top. Right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Left hand reaches up and over the top. Try to keep the left shoulder open. Bring it up to center. We're gonna take a deep breath in as you straighten out the spine. Keep it nice and straight and exhale and lower down. Again, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, lower. Two more, inhale. And lower. Last one, inhale, lengthen. This time, exhale and lower and round all the way down. Low as you can go. And relax, right here. Make your way up. And let's get some windshield wipers going. Let's get into downward facing dog. Press back. 
We'll start with the feet and the ankles. Pumping them up and down. Now let's move it into the hips, moving the hips side to side. We'll finish in the shoulders. Moving the weight from the left to the right side. Now take your left hand and reach back your right ankle. Left hand reaches back. We'll press through our right shoulder. We've got to get our head through the window here. And switch sides. Right hand reaches back. So you press and pull your head through the window. And back to downward dog. This time send your left foot straight up in the air and hold. Three-legged dog. And now bend and reach that left leg out to the side. Support being that dog. Hold. And replace the left leg and right leg goes straight up in the air and hold over two one and scorpion the dog and drop down to hands and knees. Oh, my butt was almost cramping. And bring your toes together, sit back in a child's pose. And relax and breathe. Now we'll come forward, bring your feet through to the seated position. And we'll roll back into our happy snail. Lower down into happy baby. in, hug it in tight. And 
and relax. Straighten out your legs. Get comfortable. Three minute Shavasana starts right now. Upgrade complete. Ooh, yeah. Ooh L. Beeps. Ah. Oh man, hope you guys enjoyed that workout for Recovery Wednesday. That there was a very intense piece in there and that's what we needed to earn our long stretch down. <laughs> Patrons, thank you guys for the continued support. Subs and people passing through. Thank you guys for joining us in today's workout. We'll see you for Thursday's workout. Aloha. All right, guys, we're gonna do some shoulder chest opening stretches. This will improve your posture. It will help undo all the sitting and the, the numerous push-ups and burpees we do on a regular basis. It's really important that we do stretch and open up this position a little bit more. So there is some equipment that is needed for this and Number one piece right here, the wall. We're gonna be doing a number of exercises using the wall. Also a doorway. We're gonna be leaning into the doorway, stretching and opening up the chest. We got some rings or a pull-up bar that we're gonna hang from. And lastly, something, we got a little railing right here or anything about countertop height. Uh, and we're gonna use that. If you don't have any of those pieces of equipment, Grab a towel, a band, or a broomstick, and during those stations that you don't have the necessary equipment, you just do some shoulder pass-throughs, and that'll be a good substitute right there. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we're getting started in seven seconds, and we're gonna do this chest opening stretch where you take the right arm back, you open up the shoulder, and we're gonna lean into the wall as you open up your chest toward the world. 
hold right here. And now adjust your stance so that you can get into a squat position. We're gonna keep the, the hand right there. It's even lower down into the squat now. Just changing the angle of that pull across the chest. We're almost there. Yay! Okay, and take it off. We're going to do the left side next. So you want to think, open up the shoulder. Press your left hand in the wall, lean in, and then open up your chest. And you can actually play around with it. You can drop your shoulder into internal rotation. You can open it up and play around with it. Maybe stick in one position, lean into it. And now let's drop down into this squat position and try to keep your chest tall uh, 10 more seconds two one and stand it up Whew, okay now we're gonna do an overhead stretch so place both hands up against the wall and we're gonna dive our head through our shoulders. Ooh, some nice back cracks. You can move your hips from side to side. You can dive your head through and chest through toward the floor. You can lean from side to side, do whatever helps you get deeper in this stretch. You can also place the other hand on top. and shake it out okay this next one is going to be a handstand so it's really more stability than a stretch two one so you can kick up or you can walk your feet up and walk your hands back as far as you feel comfortable and press squeeze your glutes and hold Oh, I'm bringing it down. And now we're going to go hang from the rings. In two, one, and begin. Just hang. That's all you got to do. We can relax. The ideal would be to relax, but if this is bugging your shoulders, you can pull your shoulder blades down, make it more active. Bring it down. Next, you need a doorway. And you're going to lean into it like so. And you keep your elbows down low. Step your feet back and lean in.
Elbows drawn down as best you can. Or your elbows should be lower than your shoulders. We're opening up the chest here. And the shoulders. Try to relax and fall into it. And now bring them up. We go 90 degree angle, our arms straight out to the side and lean in. Changing the angle of that pull across the chest. And the last one, guys, is called the kitchen sink. And so you'll need a kitchen sink to do this or a banister like so. And you reach back, you open up the chest and you settle down as low as you can. Now, if you push your hips forward here, you'll feel the stretch more. Allow that chest to open. Push those hips forward a little further if you can. And breathe into it. Oh, and shake it out. All right, guys, that's it. You can do multiple rounds of that if your shoulders are really bugging. And there we have it. We'll, uh, we'll knock that out a few times per week. This is optional. And we'll get those shoulders and the chest healthy. And hopefully this will improve our posture as well. All right, guys, see you soon. Aloha. Aloha.